Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Emilio and I work in technology and I absolutely love it. And in this video, we're gonna have a bit of fun and we're gonna show you essentially the stuff that I like to carry around with me when I'm ever out on the field, when I'm ever out on a job uh, to do with technology, whatever that may be. That could be you going and doing uh, client visits, you're going and visiting a client or in your own company where you work, you could be in IT, you could be a systems admin, a systems engineer, a desktop person, a network person. Even if you go to your friends and family's house to fix their broken computer. So before we do get into that, please remember as always to subscribe, clicking on that button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my tech videos. Every IT person needs their gear to take when they're going places. Uh, the worst thing you can do is go out and see somebody out on the floor in your business, different client sites, going to a friend's, going to a family's house, and you have forgotten to bring a cable, you've forgotten to bring a screwdriver, you've forgotten to bring something to troubleshoot an issue. So we're gonna look at a whole bunch of different stuff, but here you've got a server. If you don't know what this is, why don't you go and check out some of my courses. Um, in the description below, I've got full courses that talk about Windows Server, 2019 installation Active Directory, as well as a whole bunch of other things that every sysadmin, every IT tech needs to know around all things IT. They are long courses, about six hours each, and they'll give you a good foundation about all things technology. So do check those out in my description below. So if I'm traveling somewhere, I'm gonna be carrying some sort of a backpack with me that is full of stuff. I could have something like this, that is a small, compact version containing a whole bunch of cables. So regardless if you're a systems guy or a network guy, you're working with desktops or servers, network cables are a must. Get yourself and carry with you everywhere some ethernet cables, short ones, longer ones. I generally try to have two with me wherever I go because you never know when you need to plug a device into the network, you need to go and do some troubleshooting. So an ethernet cable is something that is essential. Then USB to USB types of cables. Uh, you've got USB, the older USB connections to USB-C, USB to micro, USB to mini, uh, even USB to a lightning port, which is for, you know, for an iPhone. Um, this is stuff that's essential. You know, you've got a hard drive, you plug generally some sort of a USB-C or USB cable into it, and that's gonna be running into a computer that is USB in some way. Display types of cables. If you're running from a screen to a computer, if you need to troubleshoot issues with the screens, you wanna have some spare cables with you. So you look at DVI cables, uh, you know, DVI on both ends. You've got VGA cables, which of course are analog versions, DVI being digital. Uh, HDMI cables, you know, these are also good even if you're running things into a projector um, that have HDMI or even VGA as well. And then of course, USB-C to USB-C. Of course, the newer technologies are all coming out with USB-C things now. Uh, laptops and desktops have all got USB-C, or most of them do anyway. And a lot of your devices, including the iPhones, future iPhones, Android devices, other devices have all got USB-C and even modern projectors are bringing them as well. So having a few of these with you uh, just makes things a lot easier. And then converters for those, HDMI to DVI to VGA, DisplayPort to DVI, uh, VGA to, to DVI. There's a whole bunch of different combinations uh, around displays. And I recommend having a few of these different sorts of adapters, different cables, different lengths, because you never know when you will need them. Here's something that I find extremely helpful. It's just a simple little USB to ethernet adapter, something that is so overlooked. But nowadays there are so many laptops that are coming really, really thin and they don't have an ethernet port, you know, because laptops are now gonna be running into a dock. So the ethernet ports have been taken out because it's assuming, well, if you're gonna be using just the laptop on its own, you're gonna be connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, but it doesn't always go to plan. So always carrying around a USB to ethernet adapter has saved my life many, many times. You always need power cables. Now, if you're out on the fleet, if you're going out and fixing uh, desktops, for example, if you're working in a comms room, in a server room, and you've got, uh, you know, you're racking a new server, for example, you're racking a new switch, 
having yourself a standard IEC cable, a power cable that just runs into a, uh, a rack wall, into a PowerPoint, whatever it may be, into a PDU within a server rack, and then the other end running into a actual device. You got no idea how many times I've gone somewhere to fix something and I've had too many powered devices, but I couldn't plug them into anywhere because there was only one or two PowerPoints available. Have yourself a power board. Simple four port power board will be great. And on top of that, take yourself an extension lead just in case you need that extra little wiggle room to get that uh, powered up. How about USB devices? I mean, I'm sure you have got stacks of them. I've got stacks of them. Carry around some USB sticks. Some that are empty because you just wanna just be copying stuff to them. Some that have got troubleshooting tools installation software, you know, you're gonna go out, you're gonna install antivirus for somebody, but you forgot your USB stick with antivirus software on it. Install all of your tech tools, install all of your pen testing tools. Something that I like to do is even set up my USB sticks with some bootable ISOs, with some bootable operating systems. So for example, a good one would be something like Kali Linux or Gparted, which is some diagnostic tools or a um, pen tester uh, version of Linux where you can just run that into a computer and then you can boot directly off a USB stick and then do some further troubleshooting and testing directly on computers. Of course, on top of your USBs, your little, your, your little flash drive, you've got a larger one if you need more capacity and be able to carry a lot more data. They're also good for backups. You need to do some backups of data to be able to take it off site or restore data that is too big to sit on a flash disk. And you sort of need to have just a really small little USB hub. Uh, plug one USB and then you can plug in multiple USB devices because sometimes you run out of USB ports and you don't want to unplug devices from a server or from a desktop because then something could go wrong. So just plug in a USB hub and then other things can run into that. Something that is great, especially if you're gonna be out somewhere for a long time. If you're working in a server room in a data center where it's noisy, there are fans running it's tedious. Get some headphones, over the ear headphones, noise cancelling headphones. I've even got the little AirPod Pros, which are the in -ear headphones as well from Apple and noise cancelling and they just drown out the noise. Throw in some music, throw in some podcasts, whatever you need. That way you can spend an hour, a couple of hours, a whole day troubleshooting, fixing, racking equipment, diagnosing stuff. Uh, and you're sort of entertained rather than just having nothing in your ears. I tell you what, I would go crazy if I had to go down to a data center for four hours to rack some new equipment and I didn't have some form of entertainment in my ears. I always carry myself a little Qi charger on the side, uh, wireless charging that you can just charge your iPhone, your Android device, plug that straight into any USB port and you've got power for your iPhone, for your Android device, you don't want that to run out. You don't want that to run out of battery. Now, if this has ever happened to you, you can relate to the pain that I felt when I've gone to try to fix a server and I'd forgotten a keyboard and mouse. Or I went to a server room and I was expecting there to be a keyboard and mouse available or a little keyboard and mouse. I mean, this one is really, really nice, but I've even got another one where it has a built-in mouse trackpad into the keyboard. You can get even smaller ones and it just makes it easy. Uh, just plug that straight into a device and you've got access to keyboard and mouse uh, because you never know when you'll need it. One of these are great. Little 4G dongle or 5G dongle. Something that can connect to some sort of a cell tower, a mobile tower and give you data coverage and then create a little Wi-Fi network wherever you are. You can then have your, your laptop uh, that you've got with you, your phone, you plug it in, you, pet, you, know, you tether to that and then you've got internet. Um, you don't want to be in a place where you don't have internet. And the other thing is get yourself one that is good, strong, has a good uh, antenna built in, because also when you're working in data centers, sometimes those data centers, they can be pretty hard to get a good cell coverage. So get yourself something that's pretty strong and then you won't, lose, you won't run out of internet access. Get yourself a little, a little PC, something little that you can take with you everywhere. Um, you can get yourself like a Raspberry Pi, which is very common, they're very cheap. They can run you know, Linux, for example. You can also get yourself one of these really, really cheaply as well. This is called an Intel Stick, um, HDMI on one end. Just run it straight into a screen, plug it into power, and you've got a little running, full running computer right there. You never know when you have to just do some stuff 
and it just, I tell you, it makes my life so easy when I have a little PC available with me all the time. You can install Windows, for example, straight onto that. I can just plug it in to any screen. I can boot up and I've got a version of Windows Server or Windows 10. I've got a version of Linux running on that and it just makes it so much easier when I need to troubleshoot stuff. Plugged into that is a USB uh, to Ethernet adapter so I can still connect. So sometimes you don't wanna bring your laptop because it's big, it's cumbersome. So bring yourself this little computer, run it into a screen, you'll be fine. Some other stuff that you always need is screwdrivers. Um, take a screwdriver set with you everywhere. Something that has Phillips head, different types of Phillips, head, Phillips heads, um, flat heads and Torx. Now if you've been in IT, for any amount of time, I'm sure you've encountered Torx. Different head sizes across your screwdrivers. Bring scissors, bring Stanley knife, uh, bring some pliers. If you're somebody like me who likes things to be set up neat, set up correctly, you need to label stuff correctly. Get a label maker. Bring a label maker with you to label stuff. Um, label it correctly. Bring even perhaps some spare label tape cartridges in case you run out. Bring yourself some cable ties, bring yourself some Velcro so you can actually cable tie and Velcro your cabling and make it all look really, really neat. One of these is really good, a little console cable that you run generally into some sort of a Cisco device and lets you console in. And hey, you need an ethernet switch, a gigabit switch. This is, how many ports is this? This is an eight port uh, gigabit switch. They're not expensive, they're cheap and so often you need an ethernet port and you don't have one. Run one of these, bring one of these with you. And then the very last thing, the very, very last thing that you need, uh, I almost say it's the most important uh, piece of equipment that you're gonna need as an IT person, especially if you're working in data centers for long hours of time, especially if you are, like I have been many, many times late nights spending overnight trying to bring systems up before the next morning, before all our staff come into the office, is one of these. A coffee cup, get yourself a coffee cup so you can fill it up with coffee and you can stay awake and do your job. So there you have it, that's my list. Why don't you let me know in the comments whether I've missed something. I'm sure I have, I'm sure I'm racking my brain. Have I remembered every single piece of equipment, every single piece of accessory that I bring with me? Perhaps there's stuff that you have that I've forgotten about or things that you would be helpful for somebody who is in the IT space. Perhaps there's stuff that I've recommended to you that you think is stupid. Perhaps you don't drink coffee, so why would you need a coffee cup? You just go and buy yourself a Red Bull. I don't know, whatever it may be. Uh, hey, let me know and please do uh, like and uh, subscribe to my channel. I really, really would appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, clicking on that bell so you don't miss out on anything. I release videos on a lot of stuff around all technology areas. Uh, so I'm sure that's something that will be helpful to you. So do remember to subscribe and click on that bell. Thank you so much. Do check out some of my other videos as well. We'll see you next time.